people are arriving. It's uh, just at sunset now and cars are still coming in. Good afternoon, I'm just north of Lake Havasu City and today has been a fascinating day because we moved the entire camp for Jamie's Van Build Party to a new location. So I'm at the new location now and I have a prime wonderful spot over here. Let me show you. Although it's beautiful at this second site, the build site that Jamie's chosen for our relocation here, um, I am right next to this sandy area that you can see over here and people are getting stuck going through here. There's like three or four people that have gotten stuck now and a four-wheel drive has been trying to get people out but it's not able to get them out because they're just buried so deep. Um, so it's a real issue. I'm a little bit concerned because I'm on the far side. I've just passed through this zone over here and I was bogging down. It was soft going through there and I was lucky to make it through there. I'm going to spend the night and then uh, in the morning travel back out and try to get onto the other side and relocate and find another location. But uh, Jamie in the main build site is the opposite way. All the way over here and around the corner and a quarter mile down. So it's a good eight to ten minute walk and probably a five or six minute drive because you can't drive much faster than you can walk to get down there. And about two thirds of the people have stopped here right at this area where it gets really soft and are not passing that area. So it's uh, created an interesting dynamic. I'm not sure how they're going to do the building down there if the build site is here and all the people are on the opposite side. Um, I think it'll probably resolve itself in the next day or two and they'll figure it out maybe relocating the build site up to this side where all the people are before this uh, sandy barrier. That is my guess is what's going to happen. I've decided to move further away from this soft zone to the other side since I pretty much need to get out most days until I get a kitchen built. So I'm going to move up. There's a group of people that are not passing this area and they're on solid ground. So I'm going to try to get out while there's some four wheel drives in the area that are towing people through this soft patch so that if I do get stuck that they'll be able to get me out. People are arriving. It's uh, just at sunset now and cars are still coming in. Um, I'm hoping that they don't go too far back because they're going to get stuck. I've got a very nice spot here. It's right on the road. Not quite as beautiful as what I had before, but some great people next to me. Today I'm unloading everything from my garage area, trying to get it cleaned out, reorganized, and do a little bit of construction on the front wall. So anyway, that's my plan, that's the intent, but I'm unloading it right now. Well, the garage is completely empty, but this has created another problem. And that is that everything that was in the garage is out here. And although I call myself a minimalist and like to think of myself as a minimalist, when I get everything out of the garage, it definitely does not look like I'm a minimalist. Let me show you. I've removed the front of my garage and I've got to figure out now how to construct the framework to be able to put in access doors so that I can access the front of the garage from inside the step van instead of only from the back side. Sometimes it's just too far to reach back in that distance across there to get things in the very, very back. So I think that this will make things way easier. I've been talking to my neighbor parked next to me. Here's Dan. Dan, where are you from? Northern California. Okay. Corning area. So he's up for the van build and it's just one of those neighborly environments where the person next to you sees you working on a project and Dan walked over and started chatting when I was working on a project here and offered to help out. So I've taken him up on his offer and I'm learning a lot from him. I guess. Grab saw, we'll travel. <laughs> and you're a subscriber, aren't you? Uh huh. Okay. So Dan's a subscriber. And yeah, I've given you a rationale. Because All right. of overbuilding and yeah. underbuilding and 
So I'm getting some great advice. Uh, we're going to do a couple of cuts on the existing sheet of plywood that I just removed and then put it back in. And again, this is Dan's advice. Um, originally, I was not going to do this, but um, he talked some sense into me. So we're going to go at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to remove the handles, so it's sort of holding together each side of the cut. Sort of funny. Well, wherever your handles were. Right. So this piece just gets dropped back in here, like so. And then we have a new door that will go in the middle, and we'll have another piece of wood that goes on that side. We decided to cut off just a little bit off the bottom of the door so that it'll swing freely and not get caught or rub against the floor. So we're taking off, what, about half inch? Something about like a half that? an inch, yeah. All right. So Dan's got his... Uh, Chalk and line here and power tools and he's about to do a cut. <laughs> We just finished up with the front of the garage, got the panel back in. It was a little bit of a challenge, but it went okay. Uh, the door closes with a little bit of stickiness and I just need to sand it a little bit and get a latch. This is what it looks from the garage side. I'll go back around and show you the other side. And this is what the door looks like from the inside. It's getting a little bit dark. It's um, 5.30 right now, but daylight savings time, all that stuff are the opposite. Uh, I don't. It's uh, November, so that's getting darker earlier. So it's getting dark out. But anyway, you can see now the door opens, access to the garage, and it closes just a little bit down here at the bottom that needs to be sanded but looks pretty good can add a little latch i'll go tomorrow and shop for that it's getting pretty late i'm trying to get the garage put back together everything back into the vehicle that's all i have for this episode thank you for watching savor the moment see you next episode